Welcome back to another Plasticon review. Today we're going to cover something completely different. It's not Transformers, guys. No, it's Ghostbusters. And let's start out with Winston Zedmore. These are a line of figures that have come from Mattel. Mattel's actually released a really decent line of classic Ghostbuster figures. Comes in these uh, nice little packages. They're actually pretty decent. You can put the figure back in it. It's a little difficult to get in and out, but they actually stay in there very well. So they're well protected. And the one thing I am going to commend Mattel on is the clearance of the plastic between that and the figure. So that way the figure isn't actually going through any paint rub, which is nice because if you guys are a mint and box collector, this is going to be right up your alley. The uh, the artwork on the box is pretty cool. It's got a, a nice little kind of a gradient metal look going on here. And this nice um, cautionary sign, it actually kind of fades off where it looks like it's been charred slightly. <clears throat> Has a nice uh, the Ghostbusters written straight across here in the great font that it's always been in and the emblem. The only thing is, is you do have a little bit of a flap here that sticks out over the box but this can easily be pushed down because that's the way they were packaged was like this so if you're one of those kind of people that want to like glue these down you can actually glue these back down or just pop them back up and just leave them like that if you're wanting to display them on a shelf um, on the back it's got a uh, nice cross cell here that shows all the Ghostbusters along with a bit of um, dialogue here basically talking about collect all four to create the Ghostbuster logo which we will show later. A lot of the uh, legal jargon and the Mattel emblem right there. Pretty cool. Decent packaging. I am really, I don't really review packaging very often but this is the one time that I am going to review it because it's very nice. Anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look here at Winston. Winston is a very, very well sculpted figure. This figure's got a lot of detail and decent posability. It's not like a Hot Toys or anything like that. And it really, to me, it's a little above par for the uh, like NECA figures. NECA figures tend to have a lot of paint stick. This did not. When I pulled it out of the package, very well articulated. Didn't really have any issues there. <clears throat> You can pull the gun completely out of the hand and actually put it on his backpack. Uh, the proton pack is very well detailed, very well sculpted. It's lots of detail. You can see all the uh, the computer ribbon here, kind of wrapped around, along with a lot of just little bitty, just little greebles all the way all through the entire backpack. I mean, it's very well done. Has a the nice translucent hose here that comes off that connects to his suit. And none of this stuff here is removable. This stuff is actually attached to the figure, so you don't have to worry about a piece falling off. <clears throat> the backpack is semi loose here on the back, but I mean, it's there for play wear, so that way when you're posing Winston, you can do a lot of different stuff. He does have pretty decent posability. You can make him sit down. He is a little, kind of leans back a little bit. Does have decent range in the uh, knees. The boots do move back and forth. And he also does have a toe joint, which is kind of nice. Doesn't really have an ankle rocker, but at least it's got some posability there. As for the arms, whenever you take the uh, complete gun out of his hands which I suggest if you're going to do this you pull the hose down and completely out and then whenever you're doing the uh, the gun portion kind of pull up so that way it goes directly in between the uh, the thumb and the forefinger because you don't want anything to happen to that to strain it. <clears throat> the gun itself will actually store on the backpack um, the way we figured out how to do this is to take the whole hose, kind of wrap it around, and then you've got this piece here that's kind of cut out, and then this part here is sticking up. 
that will actually plug directly onto the backpack. I need to be able to successfully put it on his back and it not really get in the way any of the articulation. Um, speaking of articulation for the head, it does have a bit of a up and down. Decent neck swivel. And the arms themselves actually do have an outward motion. Only about that far, just mainly because of the sculpting. But he does have ability to uh, straighten his arms somewhat. It's mainly the elbow pad sculpting that kind of gets in the way, but I like the idea that the joint is really hidden in there. It's got a decent wrist swivel as well. So, you know, you can have him give you know, kind of like a thumbs up here and then put his other hand here on his hip and, you know, have a decent pose even whenever he is not even holding the gun, which is kind of nice. Um, this is one thing I really like about these figures is the fact that there is the ability for you to be able to remove the gun out of the hand so that way you don't necessarily have to have them standing there holding the gun. Um, there is a waist swivel which is kind of nice and it's actually cut where the belt is so it does look like you know that's where the shirt would actually be tucked in and considering these are full like an entire suit. This right here was kind of, I kind of like the idea that they did that because, you know, it kind of helps break that up. Now, for the guys out there that kind of complain about, you know, detail and such, I mean, these figures retail for $20 on the Walmart website currently right now, but we got these guys on clearance. Um, they were on clearance for, I think it was around $15 for a while, and then they jumped clear down to five bucks a piece. To me, if you really want to give it some decent Ghostbuster figures to put on your shelf, that's what I would do. I would jump on these because these are decent. They're six inch, so they're not too big. And they're really, really decently poseable. They're nice for display. Speaking of display, I'm not absolutely sure what size stands, but there are stand holes here in the feet. So you could possibly put him on a stand. Not absolutely sure if there's a specific size. I can't really tell what size that hole really is. I know it's larger than G.I. Joe and it is larger than Gundam stands, so it wouldn't really fit very well for any of those. Um, detail wise, the Ghostbuster emblem looks, I mean, this completely beautiful tampoing here on his arm and also for his name tag right there very well done the sculpting on this thing is just amazing I mean the sculpting is just spot on for what you're looking for for a Ghostbuster figure they really did a good job on Winston I think he is probably one of the, one of the coolest um, I'm a big fan of all the Ghostbusters but sculpting wise I think they really knocked it out of the park on this guy now Let's go ahead and talk about this uh, little thing that we're supposed to build. Winston comes with the top half of the Ghostbuster emblem. These are really cool and it's going to be neat putting this whole thing together. So as time goes by, we'll end up putting this whole thing together and you'll get to see the entire ensemble. And it's awesome. But anyway, this has been Plasticon. This has been yet another crazy review of awesome because you know Ghostbusters you can never forget about them and yeah this is me signing off peace out you guys see you around bye